Hey guys, so today we're gonna do a 10 minute arm challenge. And you can use equipment if you have any weights, but if you don't, we're actually gonna use some wine bottles. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully nothing breaks, cause the carpet will not look good if there's red wine spilled all over it, but anyway. So what we're gonna do is 45 seconds on and 15 seconds off. So I'm gonna start my timer here and keep me honest, and we'll go straight through and to the end of it. And ready or not, here we go. The first thing we're gonna do is just regular bicep curls. And if you're using um, wine bottles like I am, you kind of want to put more effort into your curls because these are kind of light, not gonna lie, a little lighter than I usually go for. So you just want to make the accent of your arm stronger. All right, now you can rest for a little bit. I'll explain the next move. So what we're gonna do is tricep kickbacks. Kind of put a little bit of a bend in your knee and we're just gonna go back like this. Be careful, you don't wanna click these together. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is just plain old hammer curls. So we're just gonna go straight up and down. And if it's better, you can do it this way, but I kinda like to hold in the middle. And remember, tuck your abs in, use that core support. And again, you kinda wanna go a little bit more uh, slower with the accent on, um, on your arm curls because these are light, as I said before. And if you go slower, you kind of feel it more. All right, so now we're gonna do tricep, tricep kickbacks and we're doing pulses. And again, be very careful with the glass and we're just kind of pulsing. All right, get ready. Okay, now we're gonna do um, bicep curls, uh, kind of like a V shape, out to the side. And you wanna kind of have your elbows tucked into your side.
really feel that curl. It may be light, but hey, you can really feel it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is that same motion where we're kind of halfway up, we're gonna go in and out. But as I said before, try not to clink these together, so be really careful. And kind of feel it on your shoulders as well. You kind of feel that motion. And as for your stance, if you want to put a slight bend in your knee, that might help you. And you don't want to be like too narrow with your feet. You want a little bit of room. All right, now this one's going to be a little bit tricky, so we're going to put down one bottle. And what we're going to do is going to do a tricep um, kickback or pull right here, up and down. Remember to tuck the elbows in a little bit, and it's okay if you hear some sort of like cracking. Sometimes that uh, that happens to me. But nothing wrong with that. All right. And then again, we're only gonna use one wine bottle for this. So what we're gonna do is kind of like a bicep and tricep curl at the same time. So we're gonna be like kind of tight. You start with your right hand and like in and out. It's a little bit more awkward with a wine bottle than a weight just cause of the shape. But hey, it's working. And also like, I notice if you, the more you extend out, you really hit that tricep. All right, now we'll repeat on the other side. Just same motion as before. Okay, one more exercise. Put these wine bottles safely to the side and we're gonna get down and do some tricep push-ups. So your stance, I'm gonna do it on my knees, um, also on my wrists because, or also on my knuckles because I have a bad wrist. So tuck in tight and do as many as you can. If you can't do all 45 seconds, no issues there. 
Just do your best and hey, we're at the end of the workout. All right, awesome guys. So you're all done with your workout. So now you can just pop open a bottle of that wine and enjoy. Thanks for joining me today.